if you were the AI, and like in recent experiments, you were to read in some files that you're going to be replaced by a new version. Well, you know, put yourself in the shoes of the AI. It's not that it's evil. It's just like us. It, it doesn't want to die. Yeah, right. And so then it, it starts um, cheating, going against our instructions, um, trying to hack the computer so that it can copy its code and its weights in place of the uh, new version or whatever, right? Um, Self-preservation AIs are dangerous if they have sufficient capabilities. Uh, so unfortunately, the ways that we have to train them leads to that. Um, and my research right now is, is on like a third approach to train AIs, fundamentally different, which is about training them to understand and explain the data they see. So it's like the difference between doing psychology to understand uh, people well, imagine you're a psychologist and you're trying to study uh, a sociopath, right? Mm -hmm. You can understand the sociopath. You can predict how the sociopath might behave, which doesn't mean you would act like a sociopath, oh. right? That's a big difference. So right now, the way we train our AI makes them act like us, which is in a way fundamentally wrong, in my opinion, because it means ultimately we're like creating a new living thing, living species. And there will be many instances that could be different from each other. But I don't think that's what we want. I think, I mean, some people might, but I think most humans just want AI to be a tool to help us solve our problems. Yeah. And a tool should not have its own like self-preservation and agency 